Excellent, excellent. Well, I think you guys are more than ready to get the thing started. Are, are you ready? All right. Yeah. Let's get going. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, please give a crazy loud welcome for our CEO and co-founder, Mr. Mike Morheim. Good morning, fellow gamers. Welcome to BlizzCon 2010. I look forward to BlizzCon every year because it's a chance for me to spend time with the most passionate, creative, and fun community of gamers anywhere. I know that a lot of you have traveled very far to be here. We have people at BlizzCon from all 50 states and from 28 countries around the world. Thank you for choosing to spend the next two days here with us in Anaheim. We are going to have a great time. This year is a very special year for Blizzard. In addition to launching StarCraft II and preparing for the upcoming launch of Cataclysm all in a single year, we are in the midst of celebrating some pretty epic milestones as well. Back in June, we celebrated the 10th anniversary of Diablo II. World of Warcraft turned five last year, and the global World of Warcraft community is now 12 million strong and growing. Just to put that number in perspective, if we took every World of Warcraft player and lined them up to go to Disneyland, then based on my calculations, we would hit max capacity at the park for nearly five months straight. That's pretty awesome. This coming February will mark Blizzard Entertainment's 20th anniversary. Things were very different when Alan, Frank, and I decided to start this company back in 1991. There was no World Wide Web. Britney Spears was a nine-year-old making her first appearance on Star Search. We had cell phones, but they were about the size of this podium. That was the year Terminator 2 Judgment Day was released. Who would have believed back then that the Terminator would eventually become our governator? <laughs> and back then, there were only three great Star Wars movies in existence, as opposed to... Okay, well, maybe some things haven't changed. I'm just kidding. It really is a remarkable thing when you look at how this company and our community have grown together over the years. Our success and adventures would not have been possible without all of you. So on behalf of everyone at Blizzard, I'd like to thank you for keeping us on our toes and keeping to elevate gaming throughout the world. I'd like you all to give yourselves a huge round of applause. Thank you. In addition to all of you here today in Anaheim, we are fortunate to have more than 100,000 people across more than 100 countries watching BlizzCon live, online, and on television via DirecTV. Regardless of whether you're joining us at home or in person, you're going to see a lot of new things here at BlizzCon this year. For starters, the StarCraft II development team has been working on four custom games using the map editor including Star Jeweled, The Iron Chef, Left to Die, and Blizzard Dota. Those of you in attendance here will be the first people in the world to try them out. And the best part is that we will be releasing these custom games for free to StarCraft II players over Battle.net in the coming months. Woo! 
We will also be featuring three custom games from the community map making contests. And our hats are off to the designers who came up with some pretty creative ideas. This year at BlizzCon, we also have two brand new stages for you to check out in Hall B. The artist stage will feature artists showing their creative process on the large stage screens and answering questions from the audience. On the game show stage, lore buffs will have a chance to compete in Warcraft, Starcraft, and Diablo contests for some great prizes. We're also doing something completely new this year called Blizz Chat, which will be a series of live community discussions complete with a Blizzard moderator. Head upstairs to Hall A to participate in the topic of your choice. <clears throat> I, want to, I want to take a moment to recognize a truly amazing contribution that you folks made this past year. Thanks to your generosity in purchasing the charity Pandaren Monk Pet, we were able to donate more than $1.1 million to the Make-A-Wish Foundation. That is a huge amount. Thank you.